So Slant3D operates hundreds of 3D printers. We're the largest commercial service bureau in the Western Hemisphere. But how do we make all those machines work together? That's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. So, as I said, Slant3D operates hundreds of machines and it's increasing all the time. So basically what we have are hundreds of individual cells and individual systems that all have to talk to each other and work together and produce consistent and good quality parts continuously. So how do we actually do that? Well, the main thing is that all of our machines are the same. They're all backwards compatible, all designed and manufactured by us so that we can maintain the systems and make sure that we always have spare parts and always have means of upgrading, improving, or fixing any issues that may arise. This is why Slant3D does not use third-party uh, printers from other suppliers because we cannot control the design and the system quality as well as us using our own machines. So all of our machines are internally designed and maintained. So that's the mechanical component. We have the same machine throughout the entire facility and we only do this single FDM process. This allows us to be very consistent and have everybody be trained well to work with that process. After that, once we have all the machines on the shelves, we have our own proprietary software system. And the software allows us to track what each machine is doing, how it's doing it. Each machine has a camera on board that allows it to track itself and how it's doing. And we continue to improve the smarts on those so that as our factories produce millions more parts, our machines are actually getting smarter. So that's how we manage them from that side. And then overall, just to make sure that all of our machines are always operating consistently, we maintain a very stringent supply chain and we control all of the inputs to the system so that we don't have a garbage in, garbage out situation. We make sure that the stuff going into the machines is well controlled. And then we very control, and we control and maintain certain recipes about how we operate the machines and how we slice and prepare certain parts. So that's how we prepare the parts that are going in and the, the supply chain behind it. So hopefully that was a little bit of insight. Basically, the solution to managing so many machines was custom machines that are all exactly identical, custom software that keeps track of them, and then really refined processes and supply chain inputs to make sure that what is going into the system is providing a good quality output. Hopefully that was a little bit of help. Have a great day, everybody.